live anti-Trump protest that you're seeing Philadelphia, right now in man. Philadelphia. And this is not the first protest that we've covered today. We, we Philly got a roused, roused up spirit too. In Los Angeles, they call it Philadelphia. As well as New York City and Chicago, outside of his Trump Tower. It's Philadelphia. Hundreds of people are out there protesting right now, and you guys are watching this live on the Fox News Now stream. If you're enjoying all these live, hey images, man, this country's done. If you want, go ahead and hit that subscribe Call button on our YouTube shy. page or that like button on our Facebook this page. Is finished, that way, man. Look at these, this. Uh, live events are they might declare martial law. And today's what? 9-11. Right? 11-9. Turn around us. backwards, 9-11. It's not a coincidence, man. The numerologies. Come on, man. As soon as after midnight, the stock goes down 800 points. Then all this hell breaking loose on 11-9. We almost out this bitch, man. They might declare martial law. This might go down for a couple of days. Rights might start breaking up. People might start... Bullets might start flying. Bodies might start dropping. And boom, martial law. Look at this shit. Look at this, man. All throughout the country. This is set up by the elites anyway, man. And Jay got to go to work tomorrow. That's why you look at these shit's all fucking mainly Edomites. The the they have agent provocateurs they set up. Again, these protesters are marching down Broad Street in Center City, Philadelphia. Just one of a number of marches across the country today. A protest began around 7 o'clock and it's causing rolling closures on Broad Street and interrupting service hmm. to SEPTA. Oh, this is agent of our tours, man, set up by the elites. Because they want order to have chaos. They, cr they create the chaos and they bring the order. They're the ones that create the chaos, man. Now, if you missed it, President Obama gave a speech this morning. As you guys know, President Obama had been rallying with Hillary Clinton, the past him, Michelle, Chelsea, Bill gathering and helping Hillary with all these rallies. Bill is a was a big support of Hillary Clinton. He really wanted her to get the White House to carry on his legacy. Unfortunately, she did not win last night. So he came out, gave a little speech. I was done, man. I'm gonna put it in the uh, upper right hand corner here and let you guys have a listen. I mean, we at the end of this thing, man. The Men of Valor broadcast brought to you by the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You have this bitch, man. Everybody. Fuck Obama. Uh, yesterday, uh, before votes were tallied, I shot a video that some of you may have seen in which I said to the American people, uh, regardless of which side you were on in the election, uh, regardless of whether your candidate won or lost, the sun would come up in the morning. And that is the sun one will, bit of prognosticating. The sun will come up in the morning. That paganism. Uh, the sun is up. And I know the sun is up. Long night. Uh, That's I Illuminati well. talk, man. Uh, I had a chance to talk to President-elect Trump last night, uh, about 3.30 in the morning, I think it was. The sun is up. To congratulate him on winning Lucifer. the election. And I had a chance to invite him to come to the White House tomorrow. To talk about making sure all the <laughs> you see how this devil sunk that in? You see how that fucking devil now, snuck it in? It is no secret that the president fucking devil, man. and I have some pretty significant differences. The sun coming up. Come on, man. I remember, eight years ago, that pagan worshiping. President Bush and I had some pretty significant differences. But President Bush's team could not have been more professional or more gracious in making okay, sure we had warlocks. a smooth transition Witches. so that we could hit the ground running. And one thing you realize quickly in this job is that the presidency and the vice presidency uh, is bigger than any of us. So I have instructed my team to follow the example that President Bush's team set eight years ago and work as hard as we can to make sure that this is a sex success for the president-elect. The sun is rising. We're now all rooting for <laughs> success and uniting and leading the country. The peaceful transition of power is one of the hallmarks of our democracy. And over the next few months, we are going to show that to the world. 
I also had a chance last night to speak with Secretary Clinton, and I just had a chance to hear her remarks. Uh, I could not be prouder of her. The sun is rising. She has lived an extraordinary life of public service. She was a great first lady. She was an outstanding senator for the state of New York. And she could not have been a better Secretary of State. Uh, I'm proud of her. A lot of Americans look up to her. Her candidacy and nomination was historic and sends a message to our daughters all across the country that they can achieve at the highest levels of politics. And I'm absolutely confident that she and President Clinton will continue to do great work for people here in the United States and all around the world. Now, everybody is sad when their side loses an election. But the day after, we have to remember that we're actually all on one team. This is an intramural scrimmage. Yeah, you are on one team. The elites control you. Yeah. Democrats first. We're not Republicans first. We are Americans first. We're patriots first. We all want, want what's best for this country. That's what I heard in Mr. Trump's remarks last night. That's what I heard when I spoke to him uh, directly. And I was hardened by that. That's what the country needs. A sense of unity. A sense of inclusion. A respect for our institutions. Our way of life. Rule of law. And a respect for each other. I hope that he maintains that spirit throughout this transition. Uh, and I certainly hope that's how his presidency has a chance to begin. The end. I also told my team today to keep their heads up because the remarkable work that they have done day in, day out, often without a lot of fanfare, often with a lot of a lot of attention, work in agencies, work in uh, obscure areas of policy that make government run better and make it more responsive uh, and make it more efficient and make it more service friendly so that it's actually helping more people. That remarkable work has left the next president with a stronger, better country uh, than the one that existed eight years ago. So win or lose in this election, that was always our mission. That was our mission from day one. And everyone on my team should be extraordinarily proud of everything that they have done. And so should all the Americans that I've had a chance to meet all across this country. This guy is full of shit, do the man. hard work of building Fucking on that progress mic. every single day. This hand mic's full of Teachers it. and schools, doctors and ER clinic, small businesses, putting their all into starting something up, making sure they're treating their employees well. All the important work that's done by moms and dads and families and congregations in every state. Man, fuck this guy. I can't watch this no more. Perfecting this, union. this double's going down. Call all your hell and your hell and hard fought campaign. These heathens are going to slavery, man. Fellow Americans are exalted today. Obama's going to slavery too. A lot of Americans are less so. Shalom. But that's the nature of campaigns. That's